Hey guys, it's me, and I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, honestly, because today I'm doing the What's in My School Bag video, and I really wanted to do this video such a long time ago, and I just kept putting it off, and then school started, and then I got so busy with school, and so I'm finally getting around to doing it, and this is probably better, because now I can not only show you, like, the things that I got in terms of school supplies, but now I can show you, like, what what it looks like in my bag, and, like, what my bag looks like once school's already started, so maybe this is better. Um, I did a video like this last year and I got a lot of positive feedback from it and um, I found it really interesting. I always search these videos on YouTube so if you um, have a video like this or if you want to film one, please leave it as a video response below because I would love to see what's in your bag. Um, but this is what is in my bag. So this is my school bag this year. Oh, and by the way, from last year, my stuff has changed so much, so much from my last video. So if you want to go see that video, it's like one of my kind of first videos, not the first video, but one of the first few, and it's kind of embarrassing, but if you want to go watch that, go ahead. Um, yeah, so, this is what my bag looks like. I will definitely, um, like, put it on and model it for you guys, because you definitely can't see what it looks like just from me holding it up, so. But anyways, so it just has a long strap, and I wear it across the body. Um, there is a shorter strap, too. It's at the bottom of the bag in case I ever decide, like, during the middle of the school day that I want to wear it, um, like, on my shoulder. I keep it inside the bag because it doesn't take up much room anyway, so. Um, but I don't keep it on the bag because it makes it a little bit harder to get stuff in and out because it, like, scrunches the bag a bit, like that, the handle, so. Anyways, I just used the long strap. So my bag, it's um, Steve Madden brand, but I got it from the Bay, and I just really like it. It's really um, soft leather, and it has, like, gold accents on it, like hardware. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with what's in my bag. So last year, if you watched my video, I used one big zipper binder for all my stuff, but this year I changed that a bit. So now I have just two um, just classic binders. Um, I don't know what... What are, brand is this? I think it says it on here somewhere. On the inside. These are Avery binders, if that means anything to you. Um, yeah, so the inside is just like these easy open uh, bindings. And I keep two subjects in each binder because I have to take four subjects uh, per semester. So four, two in each binder, and I just... Uh, have dividers to divide it. So this one is English and um, well it's supposed to be my computer course but my computer course is actually a paperless course so uh, it's like a business computer class. It's a really fun class. I really enjoy it. So these binders are one inch. I was gonna go with the one and a half inch but I decided on the one inch because they're smaller and I didn't want to take up a lot of room in my bags because I would have textbooks and stuff like that too and if my bindings get full um, I can just take stuff out, like the stuff that's like from the beginning of the year that I don't necessarily need in my bag. Um, I have like a filing cabinet that I put all my school stuff in and then I can just um, access it again when it's time to like study for exams and stuff. Um, like especially for math and stuff, you don't need unit 1 in your binder if you're on unit 8. It doesn't really make sense to me. So I just take that stuff out once I finish the unit test and get it back and everything and I know that I'm not going to need to look back on those notes while I'm in class, I just keep them at home. So the second binder I keep, um, I'm taking like a leadership class, so I'm, that's in this first section, and then in the back of this binder is just math. Um, my name is on my binder. It's actually a name tag that I have to put it on my desk because one of my teachers requires that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so these are my two binders, basically what they are. Those are the classes that I'm taking right now. Okay, so the next thing that is in my bag is just this pink, um, like, portfolio duotang thing. It has holes, like, for a duotang where you can put your um, stuff in. I had an extra divider, so I put that in. And then I have just, like, sheet protectors because I like to put, like, important papers in them. So, like, um, I can just, like, I'm storing them in here and then I can put them in my binder when I need. But this is kind of just, like, an anything folder. So any, like, forms that need to go home and be signed or, like, my schedule or stuff, I keep it in here. I obviously took my schedule out because I didn't, uh, need to show you guys that. But, and then I also keep some extra, like, post-it notes stuck on the top and some extra lined paper, um, 
just at the back. This is just a good folder. Um, it can also work as like a homework folder. I see a lot of people do that. Um, if I just have like one little worksheet for homework, then um, I'll just put it in this and bring this home rather than bringing my binders home because that's obviously more heavy than this little um, paper folder. And I really like the color. It's pink. So then it also matches my pink pencil case. And um, it's just really simple. Uh, it opens at the top. It also has like these little elastic things where you can like put it in your binder. These. Yeah, so you put them in your binder. Um, anyways, I just have my calculator. It's um, Staples brand that I need for math. I have a small ruler. Pens and pencils. Well, these are just pens. Um, I have, I like these pens a lot. The, the Bic pens, the blue ones are the fine, and then this one is just round, I guess. I didn't know that there was different kinds when I picked them up, and um, so this is what I ended up getting. I didn't really go school shopping too much. Like, I didn't buy pens and pencils because I bought a big pack um, last year. Where did I put it? Here's the box. I bought a big pack here. This is the box of the red one, but there's red and blue in here. Also, some pe a few pencils. Um, I bought a big pack of this, like, last year, maybe even the year before, and I don't use that many pens a year. Like, one or two pens lasts me the whole year, and I take care of my stuff, and I don't really, like, lend them out or, like, lose them, so, um, I don't really find it necessary to buy, like, 30 pens every year. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I find it a little bit weird when people go, like, out of the way so much to buy so many so much school supplies it you don't need that much just take care of your stuff so I just have um, three in my bag in case one dies I guess um, I always like a blue and a red I'm not really a black pen person and then I just have a um, liquid whiteout pen this I've had for like so many years too because I don't really use it that often I have a tape whiteout as well I sometimes, like, depending on what I'm doing, this works better than the tape. Like, if it's just a little mistake, I don't know, it depends. So, I like having them both, and they, this hasn't dried out or anything, so I keep it. Um, these are my favorite pencils. I only use, like, one pencil, two pencils a year because I mainly write in a uh, pen. So, like, a pack of four will last me a couple years. So, um, again, I bought a little like a big pack of these mini highlighters and this lasted me the second year so I have a purple one in my pencil case too and a blue one. Oh, and an orange one yeah um, I have a black fine liner, fine liner that like if I'm drawing something to outline I have another pencil um, another highlighter not really necessary a mini um, Hello Kitty stapler. It's so cute. One of my friends actually bought it for me and it's pink and the staples are pink too. I'm going to staple something and show you. What can I staple? See? The staple is pink. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> she she knows that I like Hello Kitty and she saw it. I think it was like the dollar store or something and so she bought it for me. She's such a sweetheart. Um, and then the top, okay, so this is like the inside of the pencil case. The top has like a Velcro little slot, and I guess you can keep like spare change or like um, like your house key or something, like if you need it and you don't want to lose it. But I keep my eraser and my whiteout just so that they don't fall to the bottom of the of my pencil case and then I can't get them easily because I need these a lot. So um, I just keep them in this little pouch and it velcros shut. It's really cute. And so it's easy to just like grab my eraser and my whiteout. I did buy, uh, when I did go school shopping, I did buy another pack of whiteout. And it's the exact same one that I'm using um, right now, but I have a green one left over from last year. So I'm just using that one up before I go ahead and get into the new stash. Um, but yeah, oh, and of course I bought like lined paper. That's what I always buy every year because I always go through it really quickly. So that's what's in my pencil case. Then I have my school agenda, which just looks like this. It's just like a planner. They give it to us. It has a bunch of like school rules in it and um, 
information and you just write down your homework. I have been using it a little bit this year. Um, I like to, well, I'm on the cross country team and we have a lot of meets very um, often. And like also because of my leadership class, we are like missing a lot of days of school and stuff. So I'm always using it to write down the days that I'm missing. That way I can tell my teachers in advance to get all my homework. So that's what I've been mainly using my agenda for. Um, because I hate missing school, I miss out on so much. I have an old water bottle, I gotta throw this out. I usually use my reusable one, but um, I think I was in a rush this day, so I just grabbed a disposable one. This is the strap to my bag. It's short, because it's supposed to go on the shoulder, so it um, scrunches the bag together too much, and it makes it harder to pull my binders in and out really fast, so I just keep this in the bottom and then I use the long strap. I like the long strap a lot better though. So then there's two pockets here at the um, on the side and in this pocket I just keep my phone. Um, I actually just got a new phone like less than two weeks ago. It's the new Blackberry Torch um, and it's like not with the slide. It's like all touch screen and I love it so much. It's like an iPhone almost like it reminds me of it but I'm definitely team Blackberry so Blackberry. Um, and then I usually have chapstick in here, but I think I took it out. My Nivea, um, smooth one, or hydro care, that's what it's called. Then in my bag, I just keep my sticky notes. Um, these are my favorite sticky notes. I just found them this year when I went to the mall one time, and they're really cute. They have, like, lines on them, so you can write. And these are perfect for sticking inside of my book. Then I keep gum. I always have gum with me, but if you ask me to, if I have gum, I usually say no. But I do have gum. Always have gum. Need gum. Um, there's another pack, too. Then I have, like, a little nail file. It's just, like, a cheap one. Then I have a little um, spray hand sanitizer. It's the one that was in my bag last year, too. I have a little cupcake pouch with just some change in it and a um, piece of double bubble gum in here. Can't close that. There. Um, then I have oil absorbing sheets like I did last year. It's actually still the same pack. A toonie at the bottom of, of my bag. Starburst wrapper. And that's about it. That's what's in my bag. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't too exciting. There's pretty much just school stuff in my bag. Not much else to bring to school. I don't bring like makeup or anything because I don't find it necessary to touch up. I did bring like a little bit of um, like powder on picture day, but that was it just because my pictures were towards the end of the day and I just wanted to like. Um, put a little bit of powder on my face to just like not make it look shiny, but that was the only time that I brought makeup I never bring makeup to school. I don't really find the need to. But yeah, that's about it um, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye! Because I do have like a file filing um, Box it's kind of like a oh my god the phone ring again in this video. Why does the phone ring so much?